See you guys? See how powerful this thing can be? So look at that right there, guys. It is ready for any attack. Oh yeah, Fatal? What's up, pranksters? Welcome back. Welcome back to another fun video here at my channel. Now, since the Avengers Endgame movie is coming out soon, I thought that I'd make some props for you guys. I'm actually gonna show you how to make these cheap Avengers props that will cost you pretty much nothing and you have a lot of fun making. For example, right here, I have Iron Man's blaster with laser on top. It only cost me $3 to make, guys. Or how about this? We made Captain America shield, which you guys can also do at home. And I'm gonna show you how to do all this in this video, guys. I'm also gonna show you how to make Thanos' gauntlet and Thor's hammer. So if you guys are excited about this video, I hope you gave it a thumbs up already, guys. I'm excited just as you. Let's get these going. Check it out. We're gonna kick things off right, guys. And right now we're gonna be making Tony Stark's blaster. So if you guys know Iron Man, he has a blaster right on the palm of his hand and he'll shoot like this. It's really fun, but you know, you can't really tell that I have a blaster on me. It's just my gloves. Well, luckily I went to Walmart and a uh, dollar store and I picked up a few things such as these latex gloves right here, which happen to be red, just like Iron Man. I also picked up a little flashlight, which is also red. And I picked up this LED light, which if you press on it, it lights up. So this is gonna be his blaster. So let's open this little package up right now so I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. See guys, there's the blaster. And let's open up these gloves. And honestly, I only need one. So I'm gonna use it on my right hand, which is this one. So inside, I'm gonna put the blaster, which is this little LED light. Now, to be able to do that, guys, I'm gonna have to make a cut on the palm of this glove, but I'm gonna use this light to guide me. So first thing I'm gonna do is actually put some batteries in there because this requires AAA batteries. All right, let's load these up. Put the batteries in. That's it, guys. So this is what happens when you press on the light. Cool, right? So we're gonna take this and put it inside the glove, push it all the way to the palm where it normally would be. Once in there, guys, we're gonna light it up. See, and this is what's gonna guide us to trace an outline so we can eventually cut it out. Make sure you center it where it should be and that's where you're gonna trace it with a marker. And with my scissors, I'm gonna cut it out. There's an opening right there. Now guys, to keep it in place, we are gonna use some hot glue. As you notice right here, it's loose and we need it to stick onto the glove. So that's where we take out our hot glue and from the outside, we're gonna apply some glue inside. Just around. All right, now that we have plenty of glue on there, guys, we're gonna let it dry so that it sticks on pretty well. And while that dries, we're gonna flip this glove over like so, just make sure it doesn't stick to the table or surface. And we're gonna focus on the top of the glove. And on the top of the glove, guys, usually Tony Stark has some other type of blaster, a smaller one than this one, of course. It's usually his backup one. So for that, we're gonna actually use this little flashlight and we're just gonna stick it on top of his hand like so. For this instance though, we're not gonna glue it on. In fact, we're actually gonna tape it on. And for that, I'll be using some gold duct tape. If you notice that sometimes he has gold on his glove or a yellowish color, well, this is it guys. All we need is a little piece, such as this one. Cut it and place it over the top of his hand like so, just like this. And that's pretty much it. We are done with his glove. So if you guys wanna be Iron Man, let's say, for when you guys go watch Endgame, or maybe it is Halloween and you guys didn't buy a costume, well, make one of these. It was under $3 to make, guys, so it's totally worth it. Now let's put it to use. Here it is, guys. I put on the glove. To activate it, all I gotta do is push down on the little LED light with my fingers and it'll turn on. So that's how you activate the blaster. Now, the top laser right here, I've actually just gotta press this little button on the back of this little flashlight and it turns it on, see? 
So you could be like this. Now, if you guys think that this is a small weapon, then try this blaster out. So let's test it out. What I have in front of me, guys, is the Egg of Doom. It's uncrackable. It's the strongest egg in the universe. Let's see if I can try to crack it with my weapons. Let's see, let's try my laser first. I think I can crack it with my laser. Oh, tough cookie there. Yeah, it's got a hard shell. It's a mess for my laser, but not my blaster. Huh? So here it goes. <laughs> See guys? See how powerful this thing can be? That's how Iron Man does it. Alright, well Iron Man has to go guys. So what next showed you was Iron Man's blaster. Well, to deflect that blast, what I'm going to be showing you guys is Steve Rogers, aka Captain America's shield. Now, it's very simple to make, guys, and all you need for it is what I have right here. As you guys can see, is white, red, and blue tape. Also, the key component that we need right here is a shield, just like C. Rogers has. And for this, what we're going to be using, guys, is a big garbage lid, just like the one I have right here. As you see it right now, it looks like right it doesn't look that great and when we get done with this bad boy it's gonna look really cool just gonna look like captain america's shield and like i said guys all you need for this is just tape like i have right here and maybe something to cut but that's about it yeah spray paint is a bit messy and um the tape it'll take a little bit longer guys but ultimately you'll get the same result and uh with, without all the mess and without that smell in your nose it's something you want to try to avoid it smells real bad and it takes a long time to get out of your room so your parents will appreciate it more if you just get some tape just like this so we have our shield and we placed it down right here on this table guys the first step you guys want to do is take the red tape now once you have your red tape guys what we're going to do is attach layers all around it guys so essentially the whole lid is going to be covered with layers so it's going to start off red then it's going to go white then red again and then the center piece is going to be blue guys and that's pretty much it once you guys have covered it with the layers then you can attach the star and what we'll use for the star will be this white tape and it'll look great so we'll get started with the red one which is the outside layer guys and i'll do that for you now All right, guys, the first layer is already done, as you guys can see right here. It looks pretty cool, right? We covered the whole first layer red, like we said we were going to do, guys. Now, it's time for the white layer. So let's get to that, guys. Same thing, guys. Just want to wrap it and start making your way all the way around, guys, just like we did the first time. As I finished the second layer, which is the white one. As you guys can see, it's starting to take shape. Guys, the next step you want to do is just take your red tape and you guys want to apply it just like we did the first two layers and just go all the way around guys same thing very simple stuff to do so it always goes red white red and this is what it came out to be guys now it's not a finished product yet but we have to do uh one of the final steps which is to put the blue layer on there with the star and we want to jump into that right now guys now we're going to focus on the center of it for the star which goes right in the middle guys and for this all we're going to do is take our white tape and apply some tape to that center portion just like that right there our center piece is there now that i've applied all the necessary tape on there guys the next step to do is to shape it out to make it look like Captain America's shield. And for this, all we're going to use is a blade. Before I make the cuts, guys, I'm going to try to do my best to line it up right where I need to cut with this permanent marker that I have right here. Now, you guys don't have to be professional. Try to have the best steady hand that you can to make it look the nicest that you possibly can. All right, so I've finished lining it all up, guys. This is what it looks like right here. It came up with some pretty decent lines. Now what's left on this is very simple. It's just to take your blade, just like I have right here, and you just want to cut what we have already marked with the permanent marker. Want to cut on those outlines and then start peeling the tape back to give it that perfect Captain America shield look. 
The next thing to do is to peel off the excess tape around it to just leave the star standing by itself. So voila guys, there's the star from the middle that looks really awesome, doesn't it? So now let's focus on the blue, which is the next layer, guys. It's pretty simple. Just follow your outlines and you should be okay. Look at that, guys. We finished the blue layer and it's looking really awesome. So now let's continue. Let's do the next layer, which is this red layer right here. Just take your time with this. Make sure you don't pull none of the other one out like see sometimes it'll come off but just hold on to it and it should keep going and that wraps up the third layer as you guys can see right there guys it's coming out really great now we move on to the fourth and final layer which is this last white one right here which you see the excess tape hanging out the sides we focus on this one and the shield should be ready to go and ready for action See how easy it comes off? Very simple to do. All right, so that's it for, for taking off the tape, guys. All right, so what I have right here are two straps. Now, what we're gonna use these for, guys, is for the handles of the back of the shield which is one of them is gonna go for your hand and the other one is gonna go for your forearm. How they're gonna go on there is with hot glue. You just wanna put hot glue on the tip, just like I'm gonna do so here, and just press it down and let it sit. Press down and grab the other one and do the exact same thing, guys. You just press down and let that sit. All right, so I've already let it sit, but I reinforced it with some duct tape, some white duct tape. I put it on each strap, guys, just to make sure it's a bit stronger so that you don't just trust the hot glue and with some more tape, it'll just make it stronger, right? To make it last a bit longer. So it's ready to go, and I'm gonna put my hand in there and pick up the shield and show you the final result of it right now. So look at that right there, guys. It is ready for any attack. Oh yeah, Fatal? What I have right here, guys, are two blocks of styrofoam, which actually came in a box. They were used as cushions for a boom box that I bought. So I saved these to make Thor's hammer. We're gonna have to actually cut a piece from one because I only need one and a half. So we're basically gonna line them up like so. And I know it looks bigger than Thor's hammer, so we're not gonna leave it like that. And for that, I have my Sharpie right here. So I'm gonna take this piece, about this length, and attach it to this other side. So let's do that. Now I'll be using a knife to cut this piece. Just like that, this is the piece that we need. Don't worry if it looks messed up, that's part of this project. See guys? And I'm gonna get rid of this. Now, in order to make this look like Thor's hammer, I'm gonna be using more tape. And for that, I have this duct tape right here, which is like a metal silver color. And I'm gonna wrap these two blocks of styrofoam with this. Just like this, guys. I'm gonna attach both pieces together. So there's one part of it, and then I'm gonna do the rest. All right guys, and the block is complete. Of course, we're not done with the hammer because there's still more to it, such as the handle. You can't really call this a hammer if it doesn't have a handle. So what I'm gonna use, guys, is probably not something you guys would wanna use, but I'm gonna go for it anyway. And that is a toilet brush. I used it in a previous video, but it never got dirty. So I'm gonna use this little handle right here for this. And of course, this is blue, guys. And Thor's handle is not blue. So it's usually typically like a gold color or like a wood color, but it varies, of course. So what I'm gonna go for is the gold color that I use for Iron Man's glove. So all I'm gonna do is wrap this handle around this gold tape, just like this, guys. All right. 
right, so now we have a handle. We're gonna look for a good spot on the hammer where to put it, which it should be on the center. And of course, we're gonna use more tape for that. And I think I'm gonna switch up the color with this darker duct tape. So let's put some tape around it so it sticks on to the bottom of the hammer. There's another piece. Look at me, guys. I'm the king of Asgarth. I'm Thor, god of thunder. Should I attempt to throw this at Captain America over there? Let's see which one's stronger, this hammer or Captain America's shield. All right, only one way to test out Thor's hammer. I'm gonna throw it at Captain America over there and see if he can stop it with his shield. Let's see how strong Mjolnir is here. I'm gonna try to crack an egg with it. Oh, super strong, guys. Super strong. <laughs> Lastly, guys, you can't have Avengers Endgame without the meanest, baddest guy in that movie, which happens to be Thanos. And we pretty much know what he's known for, right? That's right, guys. His Infinity Gauntlet, which is where he keeps the Infinity Stones. And it happens to be on his left arm for some reason. I would think it would be on his right arm, but it's on his left hand. So for this next project, we're going to get ourselves a plastic cleaning glove. Now I know it may sound a little silly guys, but look, this was only a dollar at Walmart and that's what we're gonna use as his gauntlet. Of course, his gauntlet is usually a goldish color, so we're gonna have to spray paint this. Now, if you guys try this at home, please be aware that you will need adult supervision or an adult to help you out with this because you don't wanna breathe in those fumes from the spray can. So here's what I'm gonna do guys. I'm gonna actually put on this glove just like this. And I'm gonna have Fatal here spray paint this glove with some gold paint. All right guys, this is what it should look like once it's sprayed down with gold paint. Now I'm gonna let this dry for a little bit so we can continue working on this project. Look at that guys, it dried up and I went from having a yellow glove to a golden glove, which looks really nice, just like Thanos. Now guys, my gauntlet isn't complete without the stones and since I don't wanna go to the store and buy those little rubies, fake rubies to put on there just to make it seem like it's those infinity stones, I actually went through my closet and picked out these fidget spinners. Now these are the old school fidget spinners that have the LEDs and they light up when you flip the little switch on there. So I'm going to pop all of these out and I'm going to need six of course because they are six infinity stones. And we know that they go on the top of the hand such as the knuckles and this area right here close to the thumb. So I'm going to get some double sided tape and I'm going to stick them on my knuckles and all the other areas where the infinity stones go see guys six of them and now i'm gonna start placing these leds from the fidget spinners and you know what happens when you collect all six right you will have unlimited power so if you want to be as powerful as thanos then you guys want to try this out and that's it i've collected all six stones but they're not active, so I'm gonna turn them all on. Look guys, I have acquired all the Infinity Stones. And you know what happens when I snap my fingers, right? Well, you don't wanna know if you don't know yet, but if you do know, you should be scared. There are just so many things that I can do with this. This is the most powerful weapon in the Avengers universe. Let's see how powerful this thing really is. Honestly, I think Thanos should have been a magician because he can make anything disappear with the snap of his fingers. Ooh, a dollar bill. I can make this disappear. Ha ha ha. This is how I take care of my enemies. This, not a problem. Oh no! Fatal and I just showed you how to make some really cheap props from the Avengers Endgame movie. 
Now, if you're a big fan of the Avengers, guys, don't forget to give this video a like because I'm thinking about making a part two for this video and I want to make other props from other superheroes such as Spider-Man and Hulk. So if you guys like those superheroes or maybe they're your favorites, please give it a like. Also, if you guys have suggestions for other superheroes from the Avengers Endgame, please let me know in the comments below. I want to hear from you. Anyway, guys, I had a lot of fun making this video. I want to thank Fatal for helping me out with it. And of course, you guys for stopping by and checking out this video. Again, I want to make part two, but I want more suggestions from you guys. I'll see you pranksters in my next video. Ha 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 ha.